So, what do you think Noah's gonna talk to us about? I don't know, but he always has great things to He's say. He's such a great guy. Great guy. Uh, hey guys! Hi, Hi Noah. Noah! Thank you for being patient as I was a little late. I wanted to open the door for discussion today for a very important and sensitive issue. Especially knowing what's going on in the world right now. Um, but I really wanted to um, sincerely apologize for my white guilt. First and foremost, I brought you guys a few gifts just to show that I really understand your cultural background and upbringing and perspective. Uh, I brought you some frozen garlic naan. And you, good sir, I brought you a Persian pear because <laughs> you're Persian. Thanks so much for gifting us things from our own culture. <laughs> so I wanted to pull out my master list of issues that I wanted to discuss in a very open and frank discussion. Who is Frank anyways? Um, so if we go down this list, we can start with one, Charlottesville, two, Oscar so white, or three, Get Out! The movie Get Out! I think that's a very kind of appropriate thing to talk about because I saw it for the first time last night and that's what inspired me to come here tonight, today, whatever hour it is, to talk to the both of you. I'm so excited to apologize on behalf of white people for what they did to the black people in that movie because what they did was terrible. I don't want to spoil anything because you have to watch it for yourselves and please just, I don't want to give anything away, but I'm so excited to apologize on for white people and black people. Wow. What an excellent and thought out opinion. It did represent racial equality. It did. Which leads me to my next point, the government. Let's be real and honest with each other. The white people run the government and as a white person who feels represented by the white people, I wanted to breach this subject differently because I understand you are both immigrants and let's be real, this country is a melting pot and hey, I love clam chowder as the next guy, but we gotta figure out a way to throw some more spices into that melting pot. Wow, that isn't offensive to us immigrants at all. I'm very happy about your representation. Speaking of the government, I think it might be an appropriate time to talk about the N-word. Maybe that's a topic for another time. Okay, moving on, maybe we can broach the subject of Charlottesville and talk about how there was a lot of racism in that part of the country. And when I looked at the picture for the first time, I looked at that picture and went, they're all white people who are doing bad things. And I look at that and I go, oh my gosh, there's a haircut that looks like maybe a haircut from a white guy in our part of the country. And I go, if there's another person in that part of the country who sees a white person with that haircut, would they think, if I was walking around there, that I'm like a racist? This, and um, I really just, this racism needs to stop if you guys didn't already know that it needed to have that happen. After all, there are good people on both sides. Which of course leads me to my next point about fake news, Fox News, social media, news, 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 propaganda. Which by the way, have you guys ever been to the ghetto before? I went to the ghetto last week for maybe like the first time and there were children and sidewalks and houses and there were so many things that I've never seen as a white person before. And you go into a Starbucks, guys. You go into a, I didn't mean to use the word guys. I meant to say something else because that might be offensive, right? And you go into the Starbucks and you open it and you see there's a newspaper with a thing on the front. But you're like, wait, there's another newspaper with another thing featured right there and you go which one to believe which one to believe you're right white people have nothing to do with the ghettos or fake news and oscars so white there are managers agents producers who are only casting white people into power positions in hollywood when they need to be woken up because i love mexican food okay and whatever happened to esl being a second language and translators I'm Noel Caldwell. One out of two white Americans experience white guilt on a regular basis. This exercise was used to demonstrate the fact that we in our own communities can come together to unite to prevent racism for immigrants, people of color, and white people in America. Thank you for watching. And as I say, all lives matter. The wedding of the century. I went to the royal wedding. 